blasted out of yet another cannon toward his third Black Castle invasion. He was starting to feel right at home. was just a sneeze away from a massive explosion. Were Kutaro and Picarina going to make it? Castle Waxwain's fusillades and Kutaro's own efforts, the Black Castle had finally screeched to a halt. Its ramparts ruptured and Bailey's blazed, and the victor's cheering echoed through its dying hall. Woo! Wait, hold on! The Moonbear King is still in there! We have to finish him off or the children will never get their souls back! And Kutaro, neither will you! So you destroyed my castle. Big deal. Who needs a castle when I am already invincible? Poor little bear. You are in no position to pity me. I am all powerful! And what does that achieve? It won't fill the emptiness in your heart. You have no friends you trust, no family to love, no subjects who love you back. You're still just the lonely little bear you've always been. Power changes nothing. I don't need love. My subjects and soldiers, and the people of the moon and the children of the earth, serve just one purpose. To feed my hunger. Ah! Stop the That's cheating! Now, Kutu
Kutaro had done a lot of growing up during his journey, but the tyrant had just one-upped him in a big way. And unfortunately, it is mathematically proven that nastiness is directly proportional to body mass. Once again, the Moonbear King loomed before our head. His sheer size alone put small mountains to shame. I'll devour the whole moon if that's what it takes to get rid of you worms! How are we supposed to face him like this? Gotcha! Come out! Come out! Wherever you are! Taken apart of the seas by Calibrus. Soul after soul slipped out of his stuck carcass. That's it! Keep it up! Uh. Well, you give up? No, not until. I devour! Give up! 
No, not until I devour everything! Admit it! You've lost! Ha 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 ha! 